Yo, 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 people, Shells Tastic is back again with our video, Shells Tastic Sports. We're live, I'm cooking in the lab. I'm hot right now because I've got lots of things to talk about because I'm way behind on certain fights and stuff like that in the boxing scene. So let's move on to Callum Smith against Boulder Vidaliki. I know I butchered that, but you guys know who he fought a couple of weeks ago. Um, it was a good fight up until that fourth round. I mean, Smith was winning it. Um, you can see the little new stuff hit him and Buddy McGurk definitely changed about him. You just look at you look at the size of him, and his opponent was a career light like heavyweight, and Smith was still huge. And remember, Smith was at one sixty eight super middleweight world champion, and you just beg to wonder how the hell was he draining himself down to one sixty eight? He was so and he's so huge at one seventy seven five. So um, yeah, but he was a bigger man in there, and he should have been a smaller man coming up. But he was a bigger man. He seems to be a freak of nature, Callum Smith. Um, but what um, what a left hook man caught him sleeping. Um, it was a good fight. Um, and those that know, when you're fighting Callum Smith and you're pushing him back against the ropes, you gotta be careful because he's very good at that sharp little left counter. Very sharp with that. I think what fight was he fight? He fought years ago, and it was the same guy the girl fought, and he caught him with a nice left hook. It was I can't remember Saddam Saddam. In the first round, he caught him with a similar left hook. And he actually, he was on the back, was against the ropes at the time. And Kenneth is very trigger happy that left hook, the catch and counter. So you've got to be careful when you're doing that. Um, but yeah, what a sweet left hook. Put, put him, he was on the bottom rope, similar to AJ when he put Dylan. It was kind of similar settings, great left hook. And that was, that was all she wrote, man. It was a, it was a good fight. They like both landed decent shots. But Kenneth, if you can see with the ones, was landing the hurt, more hurtful shots because he did drop him prior to that, before that. Um, but yeah, it was a good left hook, man. Um, and Callum Smith moves on. He's now the mandatory. I think is it the IBF? I think. And obviously that's Batavia. He's got that belt. Um, and obviously, but I think there's rumours that Batavia has pulled out of the yard fight with the injury. I don't know how true that is. Um, and obviously Batavia did want to fight Bivol to undisputed. But obviously Bivol's got not. Um, he's got. Well, he's been mandated to fight Ramirez, which I will get onto in another separate video. Um, so yeah, be interesting. If he has to fight his mandatory now in yard, and if and see what he does after that, um, but yeah, Callum Smith versus Biv. Obviously, you would favour Biv. Uh, sorry, Biv Batavia, but Callum Smith does have punching power, and he's quite tall and long for Biv. Biv would have fought not Biv. I keep saying Biv. Batavia would not fought anyone like Callum Smith. Um, as tall and rangy, and actually can bang, you know. I mean, at some point, Batavia is going to get old. I know he's this machine at 175. He knocks out every single man that he's fought with. But eventually, he's going to slow down. And you never know, Callum Smith might be catching him at the right time. Who knows? But, yeah. He's banning tree to try to become a 2 weight all champion. Um, what do you think? What do you think, guys? What do you think of the performance? I thought it was a good performance for Callum Smith. I think in, he, did, he went. He was a bit trigger-happy. Once he knew he hurt him, he wanted to look for it. And I think Buddy McGurk wanted him to just slowly box behind the jab. So, I think, he, you know, against Batavia, he can't be as wild and exchanging. But, and I think, again, level opposition, you know, if you've had to he's going to be fully more switched on, isn't he? Because he knows the punching power, so that's coming back. So, a bit different. But, um, yeah, good performance in the in year. Um, yeah, it'll be interesting to see what Cam Smith does if he doesn't get his raw tight shot straight away. Um, what direction he's going to go? Is he going to fight another tough fight? Or is he going to just wait it out? So, it'll be interesting to see. Um, again, another short video on that. Um, great knockout. And yeah, he kind of swift moves on and we'll wait to see what happens next in his career. And there's look, there's good domestic fights for him as well, you know, if he doesn't get Batavia shit away. So, yeah, man, that's my thoughts on it. What do you guys think? Um, leave the comments below. Please share, share, like, subscribe, and I'm going to be back with another video. Peace.